Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of my clothes collection tutorials. In this episode, we're gonna make these scarves or bandanas, whatever. First, we do the material texturing and after that, we'll model the shape. So, let's dive in. First, add a UV sphere and a plane to your scene. Then move the plane to the top of the UV sphere and scale it up. After that, select the plane and go to the edit mode by pressing tab. Then right click and choose subdivide and press shift R multiple times. Then go back to the object mode and go to the physics properties. Then select close for the plane and collusion for the UV sphere. Select the plane and go down to the menu and check the self collusions box. Then go up and enter 5 for air viscosity value and 0.2 for vertex mass. Enter 3 for the speed value and 7 for quality steps. Then just hit the spacebar to play the animation and pause it somewhere like here. And after that apply the cloth modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier. You can also delete the UV sphere, we don't need it anymore. So now we're gonna make the material. Open the shading panel and select your clothes and add a new material to it. In the shade editor press shift A and go to the texture menu and add the image texture. Then choose open and open the texture. I will put the link of this texture in the description so you can download it from there. Then connect the color of the image texture to the base color and here you go. You might see this but if you don't, don't worry. Go to the edit mode, press A, U and unwrap. After that increase the roughness to 0.9 and enter 1 for the sheen value. So let's add some other textures to make it more realistic. Press shift A, textures and add a wave texture. Make sure the node wrangler add-on is on and hold ctrl shift and click on the wave texture to see what we are doing then press ctrl t uv to vector enter 20 for a scale of the wave texture and here by click and drag enter 5 for the scale of the mapping node then select wave texture and the mapping node hold ctrl shift and press d to duplicate them then on the second mapping node here in the rotation values enter 90 for the Z axis. Hold Ctrl Shift and right click drag on two wave textures to make the mix of them. Then press Shift A, search for checker texture and connect the FAC to the FAC of the mix RGB. Then connect the vector of this mapping node to the vector of the checker texture and scale it up to something like 200. After the mix RGB, you can add a color ramp and play with it to find some cool styles for your material. And finally, you have to add a bump node and connect the color of the color ramp to the height and normal to normal. So now when you switch to the principal VSDF, you have something like this. But you have to turn down the strength of the bump node to something like 0.2 and distance to 0, 0 0.05 now it looks better however i didn't spend much time on the material i mean if we disconnect all of these nodes we still have the main texture and it looks fine but if you did any cooler stuff on the material share with me on the instagram or somewhere else let's doing some modeling and simulating to make the base mesh Go back to the layout mode and let me hide this plane for now. Add a plane and a cylinder to your scene. Select the cylinder and press S and shift Z. Then scale it down to something like this. Rotate it by 19 degrees in the X axis and 45 degrees in the Z axis. Then again select the plane and go to the edit mode. Then subdivide it and press shift R to subdivide it a few more times. Move the plane to the top of the cylinder and go to the physics properties, select cloth for the plane and collusion for the cylinder. Then select the plane again and go down. In the collusion section, checkbox the self collusions and enter 0.01 for distance. Then go up and 
Inter 3 for air viscosity, 0.5 for vertex mass, and 7 for quality steps. Then play the animation and stop it somewhere like here when you have this triangle shape. Then apply the cloth modifier and press ctrl 2 to add a level 2 subdivision surface modifier this is the short key and delete the cylinder and again select your cloth rotate it 45 degrees in the z axis then go to the sculpting panel and press 1 on the number pad to go to the front view and just select this first brush and hold ctrl and, and draw it like this to make this fold area flatter just play with it I'm new to sculpting and I don't know how can we do it but yes yeah, something like that is fine you can fix it later go to the layout mode press shift a curve section and add a circle then select the scarf right click set origin and origin to geometry then press shift s select it to cursor go to the modifier panel and add a curve modifier select the eyedropper and choose the bezier curve and after that play with the scale of the bezier curve to make your scarf round then apply the curve modifier and add the solidify modifier move it to the top of the subdivision surface give some thickness and apply it then we can go to the sculpting panel and spend the rest of our time there i'm just playing with this draw brush the grab brush a smooth and a brush which called cloth it's very cool it makes your object more like cloth I'm gonna go ahead and go to the right view pick the grab brush and do it like this you can play with these brushes and have a lot of fun with them and yeah just play and make your own stuff I speed up the video and just see what I'm doing then I show you how I deal with the cloth brush after about two minutes of sculpting I'm gonna apply my subdivision surface modifier on the level one and pick the cloth brush and just click on the surface and drag it makes some cool wrinkles in the direction you are dragging play with it and have fun until you get happy with that you can also add the subdivision surface modifier to make it better then when you are done with the shape you can use the material we have already created we are almost done but one thing i forgot to say it's easy though but is how to change the color so we are going to shading panel and sh press shift a on the shader editor search for mix rgb then put it here connect the color of the image texture to the fact of the mix rgb node and now color one is your black area and color two is your white area we can change the color very quickly and very easily now and we are done guys i hope you learned something useful from this content and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe me in order to don't miss the other tutorials i will share on the clothes collection subject don't forget to follow my instagram as well i share my projects there and i will let you know about new tutorials on the instagram i hope you enjoy and goodbye